Welcome to this fifth installment of the series of videos on incremental view maintenance. In this video, I'm going to talk about compilation of incremental view maintenance code in DBToaster. So, as we have seen, uh, the code that we obtain by re uh, recursive incremental view maintenance is actually very low level. We get rid of all the joins, we actually reduce um, the, the uh, problem to mostly additions and uh, uh, simple arithmetic expressions and copying of data. And really, this can be done with more low level operations than uh, query operators. Um, our deltas, particularly when we talk about single tuple updates, um, can be nicely inlined to the query code and uh, further reducing the number of operations to be done. We'll see this in the example that is going to follow. We can, in general, using compilation, eliminate the overheads of indirection, of dynamic representation of queries, of schemas, and things like that, uh, and eliminate interpretation. This will, among other things, also improve the cache locality of the computation because we will uh, use less cache space to switch between uh, data items. Finally, there is also potential for dead code elimination. So we're going for an example here, and um, I'm going to uh, produce incremental view maintenance triggers using recursive incremental view maintenance for uh, a query given here in SQL. I will, throughout this example, use SQL syntax rather than um, uh, uh, aggregate calculus syntax because it's just simpler to read and it's going to be sufficient. We will not see explicitly how the um, the um, uh, deltas are uh, derived according to the rules we have given before, but it will nevertheless be intu intuitive. So we have seen this query in the previous video. This is a query that computes the total sales um, uh, of a, from a database that stores orders and items per order. Orders have exchange rates between currencies, the currency of the buyer and the seller, and every line item has a price. Um, so what we're doing is we're going to build now an insert trigger and an, and an ins uh, for orders and an insert trigger for line items. So we assume here that orders have uh, four tuples consisting of an order key, a customer key, um, a, an exchange rate, and a date. Um, line items have a scheme of three columns, an order key, a part key, and the price. Um, so we will now try to find out what to do um, as a new tuple, uh, given with the parameters of this insert trigger function, uh, is added to orders. Uh, how do we efficiently update Q? So what we will simply do is we will derive the delta. And uh, using intuitive notation here, I'm basically going to replace uh, the order relation in that SQL statement uh, that defines the query Q uh, by its definition, which is the single tuple relation uh, that is given as, an, as input. Uh, we can, of course, simplify this. Uh, we can basically inline uh, the exchange rate and the order key from the tuple um, and eliminate this from the front clause. Um, so we can use um, the um, distributivity of sum over multiplication to pull out the exchange rate because it doesn't depend on the query. Um, and then we can give a name to this uh, remaining query. Um, and uh, do another step of incremental view maintenance. So as you see, this distributive law application actually is not something that we have done before, but this is one of the many optimizations that we can actually do in, a, in concrete cases, um, having simplified the query this way. Now, we've got a name, we call this query QO, and this is basically an aggregate query with a group by column, because for every order key, we will have to compute this aggregate so that we can use it later. So we're going to use this, and we will separately have to in incrementally maintain uh, the query QO for every uh, order key. However, um, this query does not use order, so it doesn't have to be mod uh, modified as we insert into order. We will have to modify it when we insert into line item. So, when we see a new line item tuple, we will have to basically um, start incrementally maintaining this. What happens when we see a line item tuple? Well, we're basically going to insert the line item tuple and apply the query to the single tuple uh, relation line item. That is the delta query. We can simplify this again by inlining uh, the values that you've received for, for the arguments of the trigger function and uh, simplify this query. So this is a query that doesn't have any relations anymore, so it's a constant query, has arguably, uh, arguably um, degree zero. We can think of this as a query that is, has an if-then-else condition. Um, if x order key is y order key, then um, we can uh, add yp, otherwise we add 0. 
we can do this and actually we can simplify further because only when x x order key is y order key we do this right so simply we can actually replace or unify x order key and y order key we can replace x order key by y order key because that's an argument from the inside so we'll not have to put this for each loop anymore we, uh, we don't have to iterate ever over every x order key and only apply something in the case that x order key is y order key we just do the one case of y order key so this query has eliminated the loop and is now a very efficient query um, we will um, update when we see a line item the order with the order key of the line item by the price which is exactly what it's, it's supposed to do now what remains to be done is incrementally maintain line item uh, the, uh, the query as the, there is um, insertion into line items the full query so let's do this the query again is what we have uh, at the top of the slide and we're going to now incrementally maintain it as we see an insertion into line item so uh, the delta query for this is simply replacing line item by that single tuple relation consisting of the arguments um, and then we can again inline and uh, we've got now a much simpler query we can again use um, the distributive flaw to pull yp out because yp doesn't depend on the query and now we can give a name to this query and uh, use this query uh, in the update of line item but also incrementally maintain it now the query qli which depends on y order key is again a sum aggregate query with group by y order key basically for every order key we have to maintain this sum now this query does not depend on line item but it depends on order that means when we insert into order we will have to um, do an update to the materialized view qli so let's do that uh, conceptually for every y order key we have to keep qli up to date but uh, we can again um, compute a delta query. The delta query depends on O. We have a new tuple uh, insert into O, so we compute the, the aggregate query over the singleton uh, relation with that tuple. We can inline, and then we can again do what we have just done before. Um, the where is an, is an if condition, but we loop over all y order keys, but only do something in the case of x order key. x order key is given as an argument, so we can uh, replace y order key every by x order key and eliminate the loop. Now, this is the result for the insertions. We can similarly do deletions, and they happen in this particular case, actually to be exactly the same triggers, just with minus, plus or replaced by minus. But observe that we now have uh, these order key triggers. We can, of course, merge the two lines of order key trigger and the two lines of line item trigger. So we have overall two, two triggers. Um, one each for every uh, relation, and observe that each of these uh, order key, uh, so each of these triggers actually is a constant time function, which is actually very interesting because the query does a join of two relations. A naive implementation would actually take quadratic time uh, in the size of the database. Um, in practice, there's better ways of doing this, but uh, there is no way of in constant time evaluating this query, obviously. But as we have just seen, um, this query is incrementally maintained in constant time using recursive incremental view maintenance. We've applied recursion here because we have used two levels of recursion and have produced auxiliary views QO and QLI, which are also incrementally maintained. Now, if you use classical incremental view maintenance, uh, which would have stopped at the first delta computation, we would also have gained a performance uh, improvement compared to naive re-evaluation, but our Update triggers would be linear time, they would not be constant time. 